And joining us now right now is somebody who knows a thing or two about the camera. Jason Priestley, of course, you, you a big selfie taker? But I like the selfie stick because oh, really? I like to take pictures with big groups. So I like <laughs> to be able to get a little bit further away. Talking like a true director. And yeah. Jason is here because he's actually directing his first feature film, Cass and Dylan. Do you remember actually the very first thing you ever directed? Uh, I do actually. It was uh, it was an episode of Beverly Hills 90210. It was back in 1993. You you have a good memory, and we because we have this extensive ET vault, we were there. Where are my thespians? Yeah. Lovely. You look fabulous, darling. Did you read the script? <laughs> well, that was like three scripts ago. So. Bye, Jason. You're the best. <laughs> Actors, I hate them. <laughs> what do you remember about directing that episode? Oh my God, that is, so, I can't believe I was ever that young, first of all. <laughs> and how about that Elvis Bob's Big Boy shirt that I was wearing? You know, I remember we shot a bunch of stuff out at Magic Mountain. And that was TV, now you're taking on a feature film. Yeah, it took me, uh, it only took me about 20 years uh, to direct my my first feature, which is, uh, which <laughs> it maybe maybe is a little uh, is a little too long. Come on! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a gunshot? Yeah, he can get a little gun happy. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> oh my God! What would you say to Richard Dreyfuss? What was it like directing him? The first day on set with Richard was a little bit intimidating. I bet it would be. Um, you know, having grown up watching Jaws, he was a, a huge influence uh, on me as a, as a young man. So, so to to have him be in my first feature film was it was a huge honor. We also have to talk about one of the most iconic scenes that you directed, mm -hmm. actually from 90210, the scene where Tori Spelling, Donna, uh, loses her virginity. Yes. Do you remember that yeah, day oh, well? Yes, I remember that day very well. I wanted to have candles everywhere. And I wanted to have like, you know, 150 mm -hmm. candles and make it really you sexy. And they said, no, you can't have that many candles. I said, well, how many candles can I have? And they said, you can have five. So if you ever watch the, the scene again, you'll see I had five, I had a little con yeah. candelabra with five yeah. candles on it. And I would, I put it in front of the camera on every shot oh, to right. make it look like we had more <laughs> candles in the <laughs> room than we actually did. I have to pull out some things that I remember growing up, actually. Okay. You're like, what is she doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. You were really the heartthrob. I think we should just talk about this vest for a minute. <laughs> um, I'm digging the vest. I, are you digging the vest? I'm digging the vest. It oh. kind of works for back in the time. Wow. Look, look at Marky Mark. Look You're at on the cover Mark, with Marky yeah. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Marky Mark flexing his muscles right there. Oh my God. <laughs> look at how young Brian was. Oh, that's crazy, oh right? Oh my God. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank hey, you. Cass and Dylan, everybody needs to check it out because you did a fabulous job. It opens on May the 1st.